Okay, this is from Mary, and I think that we we'll, should be able to figure this out from what we're doing here. We're doing exercises. Uh, <laughs> figure it out. Give, give me a call. <laughs> okay, the, one, one thing is just uh, simply finding a note, and we're taking two fingers, our thumb, and our, where's our fingers? And our four, I, this is so disoriented to me. Always has been. It's so much easier to do it, have somebody do it on the phone. So we're basically taking our thumb and our finger, we're going back and forth, back and forth. This is a hard exercise, a lot harder than it seems. You can't do that too much, that's just a great exercise. You can add them, add them together. Okay, you can use combinations of them. And those are just notes within the kit, within the, uh, the song. So far, it makes sense? Okay. And then we're going to, you know, we don't want to neglect just playing simple chords along with the songs. But what I want to also emphasize is taking, taking chords from the songs and also kind of adding alternative notes that actually fall within the scale, okay? So in the key of C, this note is in it and this note is in it, okay? That's on the second string. So if you're playing a C, you could go... something like that. That's a, that's a D7. So we're just taking another note. It pretty well explains it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. It, it's, it's, uh, people make some things more complicated. What was the other thing I was going to show you? <laughs>